I am Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. We're in Sherman Oaks, California. We're at We Are Here, which is a production studio management company that uh, Linda Perry is behind. And we're with Kai Ahrens and Harlow Black from the band Jinx. Great to see you guys. Oh, so nice for you to come and talk to us today. Hello. Hello, hello. Good to see you. And we'll virtually shake. How about hey, that? Hey, now we're going to do a real shake. <laughs> the real shake? All right. Great. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Thank you. So I, I was fascinated to look back on, on your history and, and the things you guys have done. You're really coming out of the art world. I mean, you started as a DJ, right? Yeah, very good. And uh, and you've But you've really moved into the rock art world and the pop art world and, and, and uh, TV and film and uh, poetry and classical piano. And you guys really have a background that you're bringing to this new music that you're doing. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's, it's a, a very colorful background, actually. Indeed, yes, yes, very, very interesting. Tell especially us a bit with about him, that. especially with this guy over here, splash of paint everywhere. It's very <laughs> colorful. Right, right. Um, uh, I think we have, you know, a real cool retro thing that, that's happening. Uh, we are a new wave band. We're new, new wave. Yeah, and um, I, I have a French uh, new wave background in cinema. And I think together we make really beautiful art, um, both visually and musically. And um, our latest single coming out is called Don't Push the Button. So Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah very nice. Yeah, it was a nice, like, organic, un completely didn't plan it. Um, I had this beat and this groove that needed, like, some vocals. And she came over and kind of, like, in a very fluid manner wrote this little mini biography of your life as you moved to Los Angeles. And, and yeah, called I Keep the Lights On. I Keep the Lights On. The video can be seen, and you can listen to our song anywhere, I guess. And, yeah, so it just felt really great. And then just more songs just kept pouring out of us. And um, yeah, excited to release Don't Push That Button. Right. We're making the second video, which is going to yep. be bomb. Bastic. Nice, nice. And you guys launched the band with a big splash at the Roxy. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, literally a big splash of spin art paint when Kai Ahrens designed the front of the Roxy. And we had Shepard Fairey's team help paint it. Yeah. And um, we did it in a course of 24 hours, which was incredible. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah. We got busted, too. Yeah, uh, about 10 o'clock at night, they were like, we didn't have the proper permits to be painting. So we're like, all right, let's shut it down. And then we just like went right back the next morning and finished it. Right, sneak in, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and so they, they like it. And now it seems to be a permanent it's art still fixture. still there. Yeah, right. I right. was just there the other night. So, I mean, that's, that's a historic event, right? Painting the Roxy. Yeah, I mean, it was the first a... time that the Roxy had been painted since the 1970s with Cheech and Chong. So, right. Uh, yeah, very cool. Yeah. yeah. But actually, Cheech and Chong didn't paint it. They just put a giant joint on top of the building that's what they did okay it was because uh, because lou adler who owns that place lou i want to say either produced or maybe even directed that film right and it's been interesting kind, kind of this awesome place yeah. for theater yeah. like peewee's big adventure broke and, out of the and roxy the rocky horror picture show rocky horror picture show uh, it, right. out on the west coast tour for there right, yeah. right yeah roxy. um so. stat yeah. Got that mic up to your mouth? And Phil Collins. It was also one of his first shows in, in right. Los Angeles was at the Roxy. And it was your first show too, right? Yeah. yeah it was. No. Yeah. No. No? Uh, first well, uh, show in LA. First show in yeah, LA. Yeah. Okay. First show in LA. Yeah. Got it. But we've actually done a couple pop-ups and we were performing uh, our breakout breakout with South by Southwest 2018. Yeah. Excited. Okay. That was cool. Yeah. We went with yeah. We Are Here and rocked Austin, Texas. Right. That's awesome. So tell us about, since you mentioned it, tell us about We Are Here and how you're associated with what What's going on in this building? Well, um, I we put together this song and made the video, right? I'm Package. a video director. Mm -hmm. And um, we were getting uh, strong interest from, from various labels. And um, I noticed on a Facebook feed that Carrie Brown was starting a new label, Linda Perry, and I just dropped it in, DM'd him on that. And he immediately called me nice. right away and wanted to meet with us and talk about it and just simply said, no, you're not signing with anybody else. We want to release this. And and uh, once we got to see what was going on here in this unique, you know, combination of the old school knowing the way that works and the way the business works now. And, you know, you got to be a jack of all trades these days in the music business. So mm -hmm. right, management. Right publishing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's kind of all going on right here, right? You have a beautiful studio, facility, engineers, and, and uh, well, of course, the beautiful grounds as well. Nice to be able to pop back and take a dip in the pool if you need to. Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were just recording our Christmas song that'll be out this year called High for Christmas. <laughs> Um, so good one. That's, good one. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great. And we also have a Barbie song we just recorded here as well. So for all the all the kids out there, we wrote, we wrote a, a song for you. Your lyrics are so good on Thank that song. Thank you. Yeah. So do you guys start typically with the lyrics, or does it start with the music, or how does it that work? Just, it just differs. Sometimes there's a theme. I create the beats and stuff like that and throw mm-hmm. down a foundation. And I create the lyrics and melodies. Okay. And then we just kind of drop it all together and the, the gumbo, and we're pretty good at high five and each other usually when something doesn't sound right we both just know it i don't think anything's really made it onto a song that neither of us like i think we just see the middle on it always and it's never i don't it's never a point either because it's just obvious of what works and what doesn't yeah she has magnificent taste in music like all like Literally, you should be curating some serious podcasts. She's got amazing taste. And I was a DJ first mm-hmm. at, in high school at, at roller skating rink. And then I went to nightclubs and radio, et cetera, like that. Because, uh, yeah, I'm just like You were the first to drop Depeche Mode in Minnesota, right? At the, at the roller skating rink. Uh, Tears for Fears. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tears there for Fears. I go. broke shout at Saints North Roller Skating <laughs> Rink before it even came to America. Nice, nice. I went... Through Checkpoint Charlie, what, when there was a wall, plucked that shit out of there and went and dropped it down for the teeny boppers all pulling up to the snack bar getting Little Debbie snack cakes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also in addition, uh, and the music production, uh, talking about that, uh, we've been working with Greg Collins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's been an amazing part, being a producer with us as well. He's our vocal guru. Yep, he's our vocal guru. And um, Do you know who Greg Collins is? I'm not familiar with Greg. I don't know if I've... Uh, he's been working with ACDC recently okay, no, yeah. nope kiss sorry kiss. I, kiss. i'll break down the great sorry. collins background he grammy award winning u2 um mm-hmm. did a couple tracks for them did uh like no doubt tracked um gonna keep on dancing bam, 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 bam. anyway he's fantastic he's did the game of thrones tour too right he's doing all the the hot yeah. sounds like it yeah great but that, we're lucky great. to have him to yeah. help us yeah, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Do the so vocals. One of the things that's really interesting about the two of you is your art background that you're bringing into what you're doing as well. I mean, you're doing posters and you're on, on video, TV, all the kinds of things that you're working on. Tell us how that factors into your vision of what the band does. Well, I feel like it's a pop art collection, um, you know, um, not to put myself on the same level as, but in the same concept as Warhol did with Velvet Underground. He had this band that was an artistic muse for him to work with, and that's where my head goes at. When you go see his show, I think a lot of artists aren't always thinking as much about what the show is like. And my brain and Harlow's brain comes from a show first thing. So, you know, if you get a chance to see our band, you'll see that our visual, our video wall, it's all kind of moving art that happens at the time. I mean, right. and literally. Sorry to interrupt, yeah. but the, like the most important part for me is the performance. So like we have all the visualization, but we are performing our hearts out. Sure. Right. Her far more than me. Um, right. I mean, I like performing, but this girl. You, and you perform as a duo, correct? Yes. Yes. Right. Yep. Right. With special guests. Yeah. Like uh, our first show at the Rocks, we had Sexy Sax, man. Sexy Sax. Yeah, I got nice. Yeah, I and um, we'll call it up a metal yeah. guitar Some player. Metal. Yeah, got, I got a couple new metal jams. Oh, neat. Very cool. Yep. Um, the the TV element, though, I guess just comes on with cin- being cinematic on stage, you know, mm-hmm. and, and giving people a performance, um, being in character, and I just really feel like a part of me is like a little bit of an extraterrestrial, and I just want to give that to everybody on you stage. You are. Especially when I perform, it comes out. Um, I feel like, you know, anything can happen. Because when you're surrounded by all this electricity on stage and at any moment. Well, you kind of can't even help yourself. It's yeah, like, I mean, I could just get electrified and be happy that I died performing. Right, you know? that's awesome. That's awesome. Give it your all. Right. All yeah. the time. First time I met, I saw you, I saw you perform a show. And I watched the crowd, like, 
losing their mind, like men and women wanting you, like wanting you. Me being one of them. The next day, arranging a photo shoot. Right. Uh, yeah. So she just has, it's, you got to come see it. Yeah. You got to see it. Definitely check it out. And we'll watch for the, the videos to, to uh, drop as you guys are producing those and the Christmas song. As well. <laughs> next yeah. year. Next year. Well, that'll be, that'll be this year, that, but right? at the end. Sure. We're really pushing early on that promo right, clip. Right. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I can't wait for you guys to hear that. That's fun. <laughs> awesome. I know. That sounds great. I feel like everything we're, we're doing is amazing. We've been really working on our, our album. We have also another song, which is about online dating, called Swipe and Go. Um, we have a, a song about Andy Warhol called Warhol Andy. That's about you fall, like having a crush on some dude and you find out it's Warhol Andy. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so every every song has a every song has a story, you know, and I yeah. think that's really important Neverland. as a writer. We have Neverland about Peter Panism, and um, we hope to uh, film that actually in Hawaii this nice. year, in Kauai, because that's where the uh, the story actually takes place. So, um, but yeah, we have a lot in store for everyone and just keep in touch with Jinx. We're also on Jinxagram on our social media stats yeah. and uh, Jinx on Facebook and we're Jinx.LA to find our website and we're just so happy to be here with you today. Thank you Mitch for taking the time. We appreciate Sweetwater it. And, yeah, Sweetwater. And I mean, Linda I want to say that. beautiful studio. Yeah, the Love Green Linda. Leaf Studios. Linda Perry. Love you, Linda. But I want to say, I mean... Uh, before I even knew we were doing this, I, I'm a, I use Sweetwater. I buy products and I've found them to be very helpful. I mean, like Great. the second you buy it, like, Hey, is that working out? You got any questions? Like, yeah, I got to figure it out. Thanks. You're making, you're making our uh, jinx sound. So sweet. water. Nice. Well, we appreciate your business. Thank you very much. It's great to meet you guys. It's really nice to meet you. Congratulations on the launch of the band and everything you guys got going on. It's a cool thing. Awesome. Thank man. you very uh, much. Great to see you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> right. And thank you for joining us here in Sherman Oaks. We're at We Are Here, Hollywood and I'm Mitch trailer. Gallagher from Sweetwater. <laughs> okay. Well, jinx me tender. Jinx, jinx me sweet. long. Jinx <laughs> me with a song. I love you, darling. I always will. Sweetwater, love me still